Word 49. Idiosyncrasy. I-D-I-O-S-Y-N-C-R-A-S-Y. A peculiarity. Distinctive characteristic of a person or group. An identifying trait or mannerism. An idiosyncrasy, an eccentricity, and a quirk all designate behavior that is peculiar or distinctive. Quirk is a mild term for any unusual trait, characteristic, or mannerism. Constant use of um, like, and you know is a quirk of adolescent speech. Old people often have quirks, odd preferences, or strange ways of doing things. An eccentricity is a habit or characteristic that seems strange or peculiar because it differs from what is considered usual or normal. A friend of mine who is also a writer spells his name without the customary period after the middle initial. Of course, every time he publishes an article, he winds up in a battle with some copy editor who insists on correcting the eccentricity. Our keyword, idiosyncrasy, comes from Greek and means literally one's own peculiar temperament, habit, or bent. In modern usage, the word suggests a distinctive characteristic or identifying trait that sets a person apart. An idiosyncrasy may appear somewhat strange or odd, or it may simply mark someone or something as individual and different from others. A writer may have certain stylistic idiosyncrasies. A wine connoisseur can tell you the idiosyncrasies of a particular vintage. And to a person from the Midwest, the speech of someone from New England is full of idiosyncrasies, peculiar or distinctive characteristics. Idiosyncrasy is the noun. The corresponding adjective is idiosyncratic, peculiar, distinctive, odd.